we're in the auto we're in the cabinet builder of auto cabinets and I want to show you a new exciting feature for um, for quickly creating and adding your cabinets to the library and putting them into play uh, we have auto build so if I click auto build and we'll just take a base main library and I'll take a standard base too now basically with one mouse click this will build a base cabinet to your specifications so in this one I have the top stretcher, back stretcher, nailer and back and stuff like that. Those are all user defined to the standards of the way you want to build your cabinets. So that's stored information. So we have the, the basic box of the cabinet, the outside of the cabinet. Now with our new auto section feature, I'm just going to select that and choose where I want to section. So I want to section this cabinet. So auto box, this is a uh, one drawer two door uh, cabinet I'm just going to say insert uh, it will build this section to my specifications I'm just going to tell it to stretch to fit the section now so you can define the section and, and make it work for a wide range of different widths and heights and stuff like that so if you look at this cabinet now what was just an empty box has now got the the drawer uh, a shelf in it uh, a stretcher underneath the drawer it's uh, it's ready to go uh, so I'm going to close that and then we'll just trash this cabinet and I'm going to go to auto build again uh, we'll take exactly the same cabinet same construction methods I'm going to go to auto section once again I'm going to choose the section where I want to add the cabinet uh, this time we'll tell I want it to be a four drawer section say insert again the section was was built for a smaller cabinet but when I tell it to stretch it will automatically stretch those drawers to fit the cabinet section that I've selected okay in 3d and there's uh, we'll look at the side view see we added stretchers between the drawers or to your specifications uh, this happens just to be the specifications we set up uh, I'll close that now and we'll trash this cabinet let's go to auto build again and this time I'll select um, uh, uppers and we'll go just a uh, standard upper here and draw that and now if I just want to put doors on this I don't even need to go to auto section I just go to doors select a door style and tell it to draw and go from here to there choose the overlays or the reveals that I want to have uh, and select OK and that will add the doors to that and say done and again you have a finished box uh, we'll look at auto uh, build one more time let's go this time to a little bit more complicated cabinet I'll take a tall cabinet Let's just call it an open tall and draw and basically this just built the box again for the cabinet again to your specifications so let's go to auto section this time I'm going to zoom in and select this front corner and then this corner we'll go to a uh, a tall oven cabinet and tell it to insert that uh, this time as you saw it, it put the doors it left the the center section on let's look at all the work that it did for you it auto section put in your shelves put your proper door reveals here I had to put a couple of rollout trays in this section by a couple of deep rollout trays in the, in the bottom section uh, we had to put the uh, the shelf in here, fixed shelf, create your opening for your oven cabinet here, an adjustable shelf here, and your doors with your overlays there to your specifications. Um, those are just a few of the new features uh, being released in AutoCAD, Auto Cabinets 2011. Uh, thank you.